It's a little bitty town. Uh, I think population was like just under a thousand. Everybody knew everybody. But I loved growing up there. Uh, I still go back every chance I get. You know, I always told my kids when they went to Bergen uh, to school that they can't get away with anything because those are the same people I hang out with on the weekends. <laughs> the mamas, you know. The school's 30, 40 people a graduating class, so the high school itself might be a little over 100. Started teaching here in 2007. Fresh out of college, I think I signed my contract when I was 21 years old. We were developing a program here at Bergen, and I was trying to capture students that I, I knew would take advantage of opportunities. Bart Mattingly, who was my agriculture teacher, I, I really took a liking to him. He became kind of a mentor to me when everybody else was kind of telling me, you can't do music as a career. He was one that, that you know, he was kind of like, hey, you can, you can do whatever you want if you put your mind to it kind of thing. And so I liked him for that reason. And that's one of the reasons I got involved in FFA as well. You were learning about hands-on things. You were learning about hard work, work ethic, and the importance of it. FFA um, is something I, I really wanted him to go into. I think he thought maybe it was just for farmers or things like that, but you know, the things that they teach you in FFA um, and the camaraderie that the FFA gives you, I think he needed that. The corduroy blue jacket is an identifiable source to the FFA. So when you have that jacket on, you're wearing it with respect of yourself, your family, your school, your state, and your organization. Uh, the jacket's been around since 1933. When we have that, we, we try to represent that with respect, dignity. The jacket's super cool because most people keep it their whole lives. And so it's kind of a treasured item People make great memories in FFA, um, and I know I certainly did. So when I see that jacket, that's what it makes me think of. Dylan calls me one day, and I was putting on my makeup, and he called to ask if he could go get a PA system out of the garage. And I was like, sure, son. He was going to play for his uncle or something and whatever. But Dylan gave me a call and said he'd went to pick up the PA system everything was gone and I said what do you mean he said everything mom everything in the house and the garage is gone my mother was in the process of buying the house and um, there was a falling out and the person that owned the house prior um, basically came in and 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 had a group of people that came in and just cleared our house. Everything, like every single thing in my home and garage was taken. I no longer had baby books of my children. All of our clothes were gone. You, you don't realize this, the stuff that you miss, you know, even just people asking me, you know, just with Dylan, do you have pictures of this? Do you have pictures of that? As a mother, I, I have to go to my mother because they took everything. Every picture that was sitting on the table, every every single thing, I felt like my house burned to the ground. It brings back a lot of memories. One of the things that was that was detrimental to lose to me that I treasured was my FFA jacket. He loved FFA. He was very proud of FFA. I was proud of him being proud of that jacket, you know, because I knew how much it meant to him. I mean, that was one important thing among many things that we lost, but I've always hated it that he lost that jacket. The FFA, they, they actually asked me to, to come and play National Convention. That was one of the coolest things ever because I was going to have an opportunity to play for like 40,000 people. So they, they basically told me, we're gonna do an interview on you about FFA. And I'm like, okay, it's at three o'clock, whatever. I'm on my way there. And we're talking about FFA, kind of like we are now. The interviewer, she goes, you, you know, know. We think you need a jacket too. Yeah. So. And, and I saw her eyes leave me 
and look across the room and I'm like, what is she looking at? And I look over and I see them walking towards me with a jacket and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. I don't get emotional. I don't know if I've ever gotten emotional on camera, but I got emotional. Dylan, it's just, it's a small gift Thank and an you. appreciation from everyone at National FFA. We're so proud of you, awesome. everything that you do, and thank you for being such a wonderful representation for National FFA and, and being a motivator to all these young people who you're going to perform Absolutely. With. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> thank you all so much for this. How often do you get a chance to have closure on something past in your life that was uh, so detrimental to have years later some sort of uh, thing that happens that gives you closure. I'm thankful that he got that. I mean, I know there's so much that we lost, but I'm, I, that's a, a piece that he got back. So that part of it, you know, is closure because I know he's always missed that. Can you shine the light on that for a second? Everybody, it's my FFA, Jackie. What do you think? The original jacket was a symbol of my youth, right? This new jacket is a symbol of new, new beginnings. Dylan, get in here, you're late for class. 15 push-ups. <laughs> In my career of teaching, I've, I feel like I've been able to work with a lot of students. And a lot of those students have been able to reach their goals and achieve their goals. But in Dylan's, couldn't be more proud of where he's gotten to in, in singing and reaching his goals. And above all that, that success is one thing to be proud of. But the other thing to be proud of is the fact that he will always go back to his hometown and his roots. And that's one thing that I could not, absolutely could not be more proud of.